Hi friends, I'm Jocelyn Peters, the maker and designer behind Mountain Song Designs and welcome to this knitting tutorial. Today I'm going to share with you how to make the disappearing loop cast on. So I've got my yarn, I've got my five DPNs. You can also do this with Magic Loop or if you would like to use this as your cast on for um, an I cord, you can absolutely do that. Just use two DPNs. So let's get started. Let's get our working yarn here. I have my tail to my right, working yarn to my left. Now, I need to start with this here. It's draped over my middle finger here. I'm gonna bring it around and over top. So the tail is still going to the right and it is under the working yarn. Now I'm going to start by showing how to make an odd number of cast on stitches. So all I need is that. That's all I need. Now I'm going to be hanging on to my tail. I'm going to be hanging on to my working yarn. And I'm going to be hanging on to this loop. Got to keep that tension nice or else this won't work. Now for an odd number of stitches, you start by going under and knitting a stitch. Now this is where I'm going to keep my tail nice and tight here. Hang on to that working yarn. Can be a little bit awkward if you need to tension and pull back. You can totally do that. Then yarn over. Go through the loop and knit one. And I'm constantly adjusting my stitches through this. Yarn over. Go through the loop and knit one. I have an odd number. All I have to do here is hang on to these so they don't uh, kind of fly off and get all loose. I'm going to hang on to this, hang on to this, and hang on to this until it's time to let it go, and then I'll be hanging on to my stitches. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready here. Got my tail. I'm going to start pulling, and then I'm going to release and pull on through. And there it is. I pulled it on through, and then I would start working. Now let's go back and let me show you an even number of stitches, how you cast that on. It's slightly different, but almost the same. So here we go. Let's go ahead and take those stitches off. We don't need those anymore. Okay, I'm gonna set my needle down again. Same thing. Start with the yarn draped over these two fingers, tail over here. Bring the working yarn down and around and over. Now one extra step because we're going to be starting with a yarn over. If we do a yarn over right here it's just not going to work. So we have to bring the tail to the front and down through there. Okay so we have a bit of a tie here. That's all you have to do. When you do an odd number uh, it naturally does that because you're knitting but with the yarn over to begin with um, you have to have that you want to end this with a knit stitch. You don't want to end it with a yarn over. So I'm hanging on to my tail. I've made my loop. I'm going to go ahead and tension my yarn so I can have a nice tight tension on that. So like I said, we have to start with a yarn over. Now this, it can get a little loosey goosey here. So you just have to do your best to keep it nice and tent, tight, snug, and I knit through the loop. So start with a yarn over, knit through the loop, yarn over, knit through the loop. Okay, I have an even number. Now look, this likes to get kind of like loose. If you let go, it's going to come apart. So I'm keeping tension here, keeping tension here, keeping tension here until I let go of the loop as I pull my tail and I hang on to these. If it doesn't work on the first try, that's okay. You'll get it on the second one. Let me try, let me hold on here. Let me let go. As soon as I start pulling, I can let go of this loop. There it goes, there it goes. Okay, so I have my four stitches. Now, if I were doing um, an I cord, I would slip these over and knit my four stitches, slip it over again, you know, an I cord but we aren't doing that. We want to cast on to make something really cool and really big. Maybe it's a square, maybe it's a circle. I don't know, but here's the first step. So these guys are kind of hugging each other. We got to move them apart just a bit. 
so we can knit in. I'm going to start my first round by doing a knit yarn over knit into each stitch. That will increase the four stitches to 12. And I, as you can see, I'm using DPNs. I have five here, but I'm not gonna use all five on this first round. I'm only gonna use these two plus one more. So I'm going to knit, yarn over, knit, and then knit, maybe, knit, yarn over, and knit. There it is. Okay. Now, even though the first three were going to end up in, on one needle and the next three are going to end up on my second needle, this first round, I'm just leaving them here because if I don't, um, they are much more likely to start twisting, even though there are three, because there are only these few little stitches here in the middle, it's really easy for them to twist. Trust me. So let's put it onto a second needle. Knit, yarn over, knit. And of course, you will do whatever your pattern tells you to. Maybe you do just a K-fab into each. Maybe you're just supposed to knit each stitch. Um, Either way, uh, if you're using DPNs, I would wait. I would hold off on moving to all of your needles until um, the next round. Now, of course, if you're doing magic loop, then that's basically what you've just done. Um, you have the two needles. Now, I started here, I worked up here, I came over and I worked back. So here's my working yarn. So this is the beginning of round. Now I'm gonna switch on to all of my needles. Now, as you can see, they're kind of snug here, and that's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and knit three stitches onto each of my needles, and I'll end up with four needles plus my knitting needle. So I'll catch you back once I finish doing that. Okay, friends, so I have knit all the way around. I've knit onto my four stitches. Now let's take a look at this. It's a little wonky right now, right? But let's do some magic. Let's take the tail and let's pull. Now look at that. Now that center, it looks like it has four spokes coming out and it's really lovely. Uh, you will probably not want to, um, to finalize that, to cinch that up until after you have more fabric. Um, and then after you do, you can go in here and take your darning needle and go back through those stitches a few times in the same direction that it's going and then weave in your ends. Um, that'll keep it nice and tight. Now, this stitch, the last one that I cast on, it's a little bit bigger than the others and this is a really easy fix um, because of the nature of this cast on. You might have that and that's okay. Uh, just come over here. We're going to work backward because we knit this direction, right? So we're going to work backward. I'm going to pull on this leg, tighten that up just a bit, and then I'm going to find the next one. Tighten it up and trust me, it'll be fine. Oh, there it is. Now it looks like this beautiful little four leaf clover. You pull on the tail. Oh, look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? You don't see it. All you see is these four stitches emerging out. And they're really just lovely. So that is how you do the disappearing loop cast on. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a really wonderful day and I hope you try this cast on. Until next time, sláinte and happy knitting. Bye.